those columns. Do you think they're real marble? Probably. This place is so much bigger than our school. Good thing they gave us maps. Uh huh? Guys, 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 ditch the maps. First rule of survival, don't act like a total noob. But we are noobs. Yeah, and if some upperclassman realizes that, you'll be a prime target for pranks. Like the kid who asked an eighth grader for directions on the first day of school. The poor fool got sent on a wild goose chase down in the tunnels under the school and didn't make it out until the whole day was over. <gasps> don't be noobs. You get to sit by Hank, our beloved class pet. not feeling well. <coughs> if you're not bleeding, then you'll survive till the end of the day. Ugh. Ow! Mr. Bohopner, he just bit me! Can I go to the nurse now? Fine, but give Hank his tooth back. Fairway University boasts a tradition of academic excellence and a golf program as old as our great nation. At Fairway, we live and breathe golf 24-7. And the cubed root of 64 is... Four! <gasps> Doesn't it look amazing? You know what the best part is? It's only a few miles outside the city, so I'll be close to Bobby. Well, this calls for a celebration. I'll make a cake. No, wait. par phase. <laughs> Get it? Next is bio. Suit up. Cool. I've always wanted to wear a lab coat. Welcome, fifth graders. We're continuing our work with live mealworms today. So everyone grab a case from the back of the class. <laughs> My fault. I was up late making business. <laughs> Lynn, what the heck? Rule number three: never own up to making a mistake. But I spilled the worms. So, do you want to be like the sixth grader who? Wait, hang on. Clyde needs to hear this too. <laughs> do you want to be like the sixth grader who owned up to farting during a standardized test? Hey, look! It's party makes Steve pants. Now, who's ready for some magic? Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Lincoln the Magnificent. And these guys in the shiny pants are my volunteers. Their methods may be questionable, but they're always looking out for me. Chef Pat, kick it. <laughs> ah! oh. <laughs> what? Ugh. Okay, class, time to present your robotics projects. Lisa, it's okay if you want to sit this out. Give me a moment. Say hello to Todd. He's fluent in over 600 languages. Hola, bonjour, guten tag, goodbye. Oh, and he destroys anything inferior to him. Ah. <clears throat> as long as we're together, we'll be fine. This is it, middle school. And we'll make this day look easy. But we're not lit. We're not cool. And my stomach's really queasy. I don't think I can go through with it. Just take a deep breath and get a grip. Our strategy is tight, our game is strong. We got this, we got this. We'll get through it all together. We got this, we got this. We're invincible. We're a team. We're a troop, we're the best forever friend group. I've got your back, I know that you've got mine. Trust me, we'll be fine. With that terrible tee shot, a redo was requested and thus was created the mulligan. Oh my word. Sorry. Lenny, I can't talk, I'm in class. Lori, please. You've got this. Huh? Fine. 
But if I get a call from someone named Boo Boo Bear, I'm gonna need that back. <laughs> hey, Luann. Hey! What's up, Benny? I just wanted to say good luck. I hope you win the playwriting contest. Oh, thanks. Knock on wood. Hey, quit it, toots. You're giving me a splintering headache. <laughs> More like a migraine. <laughs> <laughs> Introducing the woman who recently played the coveted role of confused eater in the new Burp and Burger commercial, Mrs. Bernardo! <laughs> wow, Mrs. B has really stepped up her entrance game. Thank you, thank you. Please, oh, no, please, hold your applause. Ahem. As you know, the winner of the playwriting contest will be directing the play they wrote. There were a number of superb entries, but only one dazzled me. And the winner is... Oh, my goodness. Uh, I've got this. Luan Moon! <gasps> really? Really, really. And you'll be needing this. Every director must have one. Congrats, Luann. Thanks for the opportunity, Mrs. B. I can't wait to get started. Whoa! <laughs> Welcome to Canada. Here's your complimentary snowsuit and toque. Ooh. You're gonna want to put those on. Thanks, but I'm all set up! Don't worry, you're gonna love it here. Welcome to Canada. It's a treat this time of year. So go on, mount your moose for your commute. That's how we get around round here. Try the ketchup chips. Just cost a loony. Don't resist. The Chinook winds are very, very extra. Ordinary, nary. So if you love. Mounties, gravy, bags of milk, a minus 50 morning chill. We've got it, boys, so come and seize the day. Go and break the ice and make a life north of the USA. Today you'll be getting your very first report card. Huh? Excellent. The first installment of my perfect academic career. Let's see, an A in science. <laughs> An A in writing. An A in math. One penny. That's four dollars and eleven cents, or approximately four hundred sixteen Japanese yen. Also, I took the liberty of preparing your tax returns. An A in physical education. An A in vocabulary, and an F in social skills. Perfect. Uh, wait, what? An F? <gasps> and what does this animal do? Quack quack quack. <laughs> Oh, and gosh, this must be shop class. You actually shop! I'm so getting an A. That new volunteer is delightful. She really relates to the children on their level. Oh, no need for that. Okay, everyone, suit up. Here, Lincoln, you ten goal. Okay, kids, if Sadie hits a 160-gram puck with 4,200 pounds of force, how much time does Lincoln have to raise his glove to block the goal? Two microseconds! <laughs> Correct, Sadie. A nice slap shot. Way to nail the biscuit. Ooh, the solo. I've been practicing for the audition for a month. You're going to do great, buddy. Meanwhile, I beat the final villain in Musclefish, so it was a big month for both of us. Oh, I hope those private singing lessons pay off. That was a long drive to Cleveland every weekend. On the bright side, it did give me time to listen to Leon Cavaratti's Guide to Improving Your Vocal Cords. <laughs> In this herky-jerky world, you should need to say goodbye. Don't! Was I off there? I can't be off! My aunts are flying in from the Canary Islands just to see me sing in the show! No, no, you were fine. But maybe try it like this. In this herky-jerky world, you shouldn't need to say goodbye. Did you know he had the voice of an angel? <laughs> Chandler, good to see you, my man! Missed each and every one of you! You the most, Mr. B. How lovely for us. Now zip it! Absolutely. But, uh, Mr. Bohoffner, sir, is there any way you could turn down the temp in here? I got kind of used to the cold. <gasps> <gasps> turn down the temp? Yeah, I don't care. No one's ever asked.
later, Sam. Okay, see ya! Got the rock and roll bug and I just can't shake it! Follow your heart if you really want to make it! I tried my hand at dental hygiene But at the end of the day, it just wasn't my thing You can live your life full of doubt Or you can do what you love and it'll all work out My life is a dream The greatest hockey roll dream Ladies and gentlemen, we've got some rumble royalty in the house. Give it up for Chester, Chuck, Mom! <laughs> you can live your life rolling down, or you can do what you love and it'll all work out. My life is a dream. The greatest hockey roll! The moment you've been waiting for. Lunch? No, Rusty. The fifth grade egg baby challenge. Yeah! Yeah! You'll work in pairs to look after an egg baby for a week. Now, class, if your egg cracks or breaks, you fail. But if you can keep your egg safe for the whole week, you pass and get a special waffle breakfast. Oops. <laughs> Wrong picture. Ooh! Blink and McCloud reporting for parenting duty. And waffles. No, no, no. I'll be choosing the pairs. The whole point is to work with someone you don't know so you can learn about each other through caring for the egg. Okay, homeroom. There are no assigned seats, so it's time for rule number two. Don't get stuck with a crummy desk. Move out! No! Oh, sorry. Please, it's all yours. I'd pull out the chair for you, but <clears throat> it's attached. Wrong. <laughs> hey, back off, pigtails. My buddy saw this first. Ugh, boom, dominant. Nobody's messing with that. Ha. Uh, wasn't that a little aggressive? Mm, not if you don't want to end up like the kid who got stuck with the worst desk in the room. This one kid thought she had the perfect desk, but ended up getting stuck in it so tight that they had to call the school cook. Sorry, kid. We're gonna have to grease you out. You got any nut allergies? <laughs> Four, three, two. Good morning, Royal Woods Middle School. I'm Lincoln Lamb. And I'm Clive McBride. And kangaroos, this is your news. Breaking news. Today is Mr. Ballhopner's birthday. We've got reporter Stella Zhao live on the scene. That's right, Clyde. I'm here with the birthday boy. Mr. B, how does it feel to turn 62? I'm 34. <laughs> now Rusty spokes with sports. Rusty, you're live. <laughs> I'm here with the soccer team's captain, Lin Loud. Ugh, Rusty, we're trying to practice here. <laughs> Lynn, wait! How are you feeling about today's game against Hazel Tucky? More like Hazel Lucky if they score a goal. Don't move. I need to run a few drills. That's today's sports news. Licking a glide, back to... Oh! Ooh! Kicking it with Lynn Loud is definitely not a goal of mine. <laughs> <laughs> Let's check back in with Stella, who's learning how to whip up that famous cafeteria one bean chili. I'm here with Chef Pat. Ugh. And together, we're cooking up some trouble. Is that a shoe? <laughs> well, that's the news for today. From all of us here at Action News, have a hoppy day, kangaroos. <laughs> that's a wrap. Hair dryers? You can't play hockey without ice. <laughs> yes, no. Well, bust 
missed my flannels. What's going on here, eh? Oh, no, Principal Marshall, we're so busted. Do you realize what you've done? Sorry, Principal Marshall. I guess I'm a born troublemaker. I just can't help myself. Anyway, I'm sure this means I'm kicked out, so I'll just go grab my belongings. No, you actually saved me. Seriously? I was actually coming down here to melt the ice myself, but you could have just turned on the heater. But uh, hair dryers work too. Huh? <laughs> Dang it. Uh, I hate Dodgeball Week. Uh, and why is Mr. Bolhoffner running it? Uh, Coach Keck's at a gym teacher's conference, so we're stuck with him. Uh, hey, chuckleheads! Look alive! Uh, uh, my hair doesn't count. I'm still in. Uh, I can't wait for yoga week. Get changed, princess! The rope is waiting! And it will continue to do so, Coach P. This is 30% of your grade, kid. Uh. I mean, right away, Coach! <clears throat> uh, I gotta pee, Coach. Uh, pee? So do I! Wow, Lola! I've never seen that kind of hustle from you before. Oh, oh, right, um, I'm in training for a Miss Survivalist pageant. <laughs> Great job, class. I'm so proud of all your arts and crafts. Dr. S, look! I made a painting based on this scary dream I had last night. There were some super cute espadrilles on sale, and they didn't have my size. But I bought them anyway! Lily, Audrey, what did you do? <laughs> <gasps> You're okay, my book cloud. So get to your new seat. Now! <laughs> Too slow, Lincoln Lame. If you want me out of your precious seat, you're gonna have to make me move. Huh? 